first place, right? It, it, it's not so that they can discriminate, but rather so that they can remain unstained right. by the unholiness of the world around them. As in the country of Jerusalem, like everybody else was pagan and they were unclean in their behavior, in their sexual immorality and everything. But, um, but if, you, if you lose the merciful part, then you, use, you would use that to be racist, to be right, um, as opposed to to be loving, to be merciful. Um, but to, at the same time, being very careful not to be influenced by um, the wrong things they're doing. Right. So, right. And in this case, uh, you know, Jesus' influence goes one way. It's yeah. him influencing uh, the tax collectors and sinners, and not the other way around. Not the other way around. And. Uh, and in this case, you know, he, he's not afraid because he's the one influencing uh, tax workers and sinners. Uh, but at the same time, also note, you know, the table fellowship, it's very intimate. It's very, there's a, one thing that drove the Pharisees crazy was, you know, if, if you're in table fellowship with someone, it's, it almost smacks of accepting what they're doing, almost. So, so people are like, you're condoning what they're doing by attending or hanging out with them. Uh, but Jesus, in his, in his mission, has a different mind about it uh, because it would result in someone like Zacchaeus. You know, you would go with Zacchaeus, and Zacchaeus changes and is transformed. You know, by the presence of Jesus, he pays what he owed, or what he stole. <laughs> uh, in that case, so Jesus' purpose is transformation. Um, but some people, especially in that time, thought, oh, you're condoning uh, what they're doing. You're hanging out with them. They don't, they don't wash their hands like the way the law is supposed to go when you have table fellowship. Um, they're unclean in themselves because they're sinners, but somehow you're with them. You know, that's, more than, that's more than a casual dining experience. So, so, it's, so it's interesting. It's just... And I think part of it is he uh, he really wants to uh, he really wants to extend salvation to them, you know, salvation, mercy, justice. Uh, but also, there's other people who say, well, you know, um, as you said, the Pharisees already used the laws to discriminate, but in reality, we want them in uh, in our fold. Uh, to experience, you know, the covenant, to experience um, the love and grace of God. So, so that they, you know, they they did wrong in that sense. Um, Jesus helped the sinners. You know, um, they came to Jesus, not Jesus. I mean, they needed um, to be clean. They needed themselves to be um, clean. You know, so they went to God. I like um, how people get influenced by those people because they put themselves in that um, environment. Like, those people probably don't want to be clean. They don't really need it. They're just there. And these people just like went there and tried to help when they don't need it. So they, I think that's why people are influenced by those people instead of trying to help them, but be influenced by them. Are you confused? I'm sorry. Are you confused? Uh, I'm Go, go, go again. Just. Uh, okay, I, I, what I'm saying is, like, people now, nowadays, like Christians, um, I think the reason why they're influenced by sinners is because they put themselves, like, you know, they want to help people who are bad, and they just, like, put themselves in that environment. Although, like, those sinners don't need, they don't even feel that they're, they're unclean, you know, they don't oh, want to be clean. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So that's why, like, oh, you put yourself into it. Not, not like, like this tax collectors, they came to Jesus because they want to be clean, they're willing to be clean, and they need help. So, and, and Jesus is not going to be influenced anyways, I know, but uh, right. talking about like us, you know, we don't, I mean, like, we better be careful to be there if we are not that prepared. Although we are prepared, it's, there's a chance that we'd be influenced by those people too. Mm -hmm. Although, although as you said, you know, yeah, we are prepared. We have the spirit. We got, we have all that we need from God, so we can, we can do it. But at the same time, we need to guard against uh, being influenced that, that certain way. Uh, 
So yeah, so I, I, I agree with that. But yeah, I thought you had something. No. Okay. I like this topic. It's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> because you know, you could, uh, that does bring up questions. You know, like to what extent do we uh, hang out with singers or go with them and not be influenced somehow? And how do we do it practically? Right. As right. yeah, and like in reality, if you go to like nightclubs or like people um, who are singers, and you go tell them that your singer is paid up. Although they they know that they are singers, you know, they don't care what's the point of like trying because they don't even mind in the sense. Um, although in this situation, I guess I can imagine Jesus. Um, uh, he may have gone with others, that with sinners who want to be clean, but there's also others who may not want to, and I think he could have gone for both. We can't tell from the scripture. Know, it's possible he would have gone for both and I could imagine him doing that because he'd want to give them salvation, he'd want to give them his message and give them God's love so they can turn. So so I can imagine that uh, you know he wouldn't discriminate whether they want to or not in that sense. But, uh, but well, yeah, it would be harder if they don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> well with you know, like human being on Jesus that would be much harder to as, as us going. Yeah, right? as us going. Um, although people have done that, you know, yeah. you, you approach people who don't necessarily want to hear about Jesus, and that's part of. There, there are all kinds of ministries. Right, right. There, there are bar ministries. Yeah. Um, Strip club ministries. Oh, that's. Yeah. I don't know. There's, <laughs> there's probably there's, 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 there's churches that bring food to the strippers in the back room. Oh, yeah. Day. I, not that they strip uh, oh, they, not that they strip because yeah because in Lexington yeah there yeah. was this church that oh, okay, okay. brought food for uh, to the strippers to the strippers yeah uh -huh. so in between they could have things to eat and talk with them mm -hmm. talk with them about but they're not stripping so so it tells you the you know in a way the extent of how much Jesus will do to reach out, uh, especially because overall we weren't looking for Jesus, <laughs> you know? but still you know, Jesus God will try to reach out to us no matter where we're at, whether we're open to it or not. Um, God somehow will make. Well, I have, I have a, a story, not a delivery story, but uh, this is my experience, you know, I was, uh, <clears throat> I was talking to my, my Christian friend, my, he was, he was actually a guitarist of mine, and I was uh, doing my third album, and, uh, and I started having questions, like, should we really play in, in, in the nightclubs and all that, and, and he had this stance, he was like, you know what, people keep saying that, you know, Christians should not go to nightclubs, Christians should not be with these people, and, but he thinks that it's, it's better for Christians to be in there influencing people in, you know, in nightclubs and wherever, you know, so, and I was like, huh, so I was like, yeah, yeah, you're right, and then, throughout my entire experience with him, every time, you know, every time we would work, you know, um, we would play at nightclubs, he was, we, we never become a good influence. We always are influenced by bad things. We, we can never, you know, say, hey, you know, um, this is bad, this is not, it's all sort of things just fl fly our way and we just accept them as they come. It's, you know what I'm saying? As opposed to being a light, who we were there to be to, to have our light, you know, extinguished. Yeah. yeah, extinguished. And so it's like, you know, it's it's interesting that you say that you can actually go and and, and preach and, and serve in nightclubs. And I know that there are some people who can, right? And who've done that and, and has has done um, has gotten great results, but 
I don't think it's for everybody. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. You're, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. 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 And because I can think of an example which, of which, yeah, it's an unlikely place, but yeah, the person's a Christian. And yeah, the person did influence people. Yeah. So I can think of the opposite example myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I've heard of it. I've heard of the example. Like not not every not everyone can go to like a ISIS headquarters and preach. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't go yeah. over well. Yeah. It's not all like not everyone are thugs. Like go on, you know. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there are people who have done that. So it's a, it's an interesting calling. It's a calling. Yeah. There are people. But here you see Jesus. Like wow, it's part of what he did. But again, in a global scale, he did it for all of us anyway. Who we are looking for? Um, while we're sinning, while we're sinners. So, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's praise God in that respect. Yeah, so about that, it, it kind of reminds me of the story that you told us in the church. It's kind of amazing. The church of, uh, I mean, the people the Cambodia. Yeah, the Cambodia. Oh, I heard that story. I was bawling. <laughs> Wait, he yeah. didn't, he didn't, never heard of it? I hadn't heard of it. He doesn't do his sermons for me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it doesn't he used, work. No further than for the while. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. That was, that was sad. That was you get the sermon premiere at yeah. the same time as everybody. When he first started being a pastor, he would do them for me and we would fight it up. Because I would be like, oh, I feel like no, that's not good. And then after, 